and Phoebe, who moved to a small... Uh, ben and McKenna join us now. Good morning to good you morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. So, Proton Pack's this light. Like, why did they get the special treatment? <laughs> Is yeah, that true, yeah, the Aubrey's? Did, yeah. When do you have time to do that? Uh, there was a global pandemic. Well, there's... Years old, and we when were you playing, were nine? Yeah, and we were playing music ever since, and then we uh, recorded this album, and we're going to self-release it, so... You know, Yay! Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Do you sing, play, you do everything? Yeah. You do. You're like, yes, you yeah. Multi-talented. Yes. And last but not least. It was day 300 when we fil when we finished. So it's like. Everyone's um, so cute. Yeah. So I'm excited for it to come out. It'll come out. And then just like, I don't know. I took a picture with Bill Murray and he just like picked me up like this. And I was like, ha, ah, this is happening. Yeah. So it's. It was really, it was amazing. It was really special. Yeah. It didn't really feel real, but it was incredibly special. Oh, it's a great question. I think he'd love it. I think it's like such a faithful like sequel I think like it really it you know it has the exact same vibe as the original but also it, it has a fresh take um, and I think it would make Ghostbusters fans really happy he had like such a specific idea for the character you know like I, I in the beginning I would come in and I I, I, I kind of like carry this into other projects I do now, but I, I always rehearse my lines like really hard because I want to make sure that I have them. I get the performance down. But then he was like, no, I want you to come in. Like, I mean, there's no one oh, better I... to like help you with that than Jason yeah. Reitman. Yeah. Things I loved as a kid that I grew up with are coming back. What is something that you guys have grown up with now that's popular right now that you think will return in nostalgia form in 20 oh, to 30 years? that's a great years? question. I'm trying to think. Like, um... Things. Yeah, Stranger Things, yeah. <laughs> Stranger Things in... Stranger Things season four. Exactly. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, that will come back. I mean... I don't know. I feel like those, like, Fast and Furious movies will always be a thing. Well... They're not gonna come back. They're just gonna keep. keep going. They're just gonna keep you know? going. Yeah. They're just yeah. gonna keep going. Um, <laughs> I just know the meme. Yeah, it's been up for years. <laughs> um, what's it called? No, I, I. Ghostbusters is great. I, it had a fresh take. Um, I think Sp Spider Verse like was amazing because it had a fresh take. And I I think that it'll be really yeah, oh, I feel like we just ripped open like a whole big conversation we could have right yeah, as we're giving sorry. it a wrap. Exactly. This is a new no, this is, yeah. <laughs> this is great. I, I try to throw some questions at you. Hopefully, I know you've been doing a ton of press. So seriously, thank you for being such a great interview. Thank you for making thank such a so great much. movie. And I really do love you guys. And, and this movie meant a lot oh. to me. So I really do appreciate it. Thank tell you Jason so much. that we say hi. Yeah, okay, well, I tell will. Tell him that McKenna says hi and that Finn. My does. good friend McKenna says hello. Finn says whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys. Bye. Bye. Next up, an absolutely fabulous actor, Carrie Coon. Um, and, you can just uh, call me mom. Yeah, okay. yeah, mom, mom one. Um, no, yeah, I got. Um, he he's this kid who's um, I think really looking for friends and wants to be a part of a of a of a community um, and wants to be accepted and uh, kind of finds that through moving to a new town, meeting other kids, and also piecing together kind of his old family life and his roots. Um, and uh, yeah, no, I mean, I got involved just from like a tape that came in and um, it was like it was code name. It, you didn't know what you were auditioning for. No, no, I, I knew that it was you. I knew there's uh, like, I obviously like love Jason's movies and um, I had no idea what I was auditioning for. Um, but what's brilliant about it is that it, it wasn't like a scene with action or anything. It wasn't like a, talking about the ghost scene. It was just a scene between a bro a little, or an older brother and a little sister. Yeah, the casting breakdown said... After I did the tape, I was kind of thinking, in the days after, I was like, I wonder why it's so secretive. Like, I wonder why there's such a big code name behind it. And um, yeah, then I just um, heard that Jason liked it. And I had, I had, there was, I, when I found out it was Ghostbusters, I really didn't think I was going to be cast because I was already in, I was in the, uh, Stranger Things, and there was a, uh, yep, there was one, two, three. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so I had, not to make it about that, but I had worn the costume um, in an episode, and I thought, okay, well, maybe it might, you know, maybe Jason, that might rub in the wrong way or something like that. Um, and you look good in the costume. I mean, I don't... Yeah, I guess that's what it was, but I, uh, <laughs> no, I just, um, I immediately said yes and it's uh for me the most amazing part about being a part of this franchise and uh is like the legacy behind it and feeling like you're actually a part of a family um that's my favorite part about being on set is 
being with people and the fact that I got to be with the best people I've ever met, like on a set, it was amazing. And also being a part of like amazing rich history, you know, it was uh, great, so. M McKenna, preferably with <laughs> FedEx commercial. Industrial. And he showed up on set like it was this 70th movie. Uh, yeah. Uh, like. No. I, um, you know, that was like the big crux of my character is that he's a driver. Mm -hmm. um, and you're a method actor. And I'm a method actor, so I went out and I failed my driver's test twice. Um, <laughs> So, no, I didn't technically, well, I did drive it. It was, you know, I drove a few inches. Uh, <laughs> that's the, all they kind of trusted me with. Um, but I, you know, uh, it was pretty amazing. Especially, I mean, I think a lot of people um, will appreciate this about the movie. A lot of it is practical, um, like puppets and <laughs> animatronics, and that's hugely important. And. Um, to, even to the, you've seen the trailer, you know, me and the Ecto-1 going through the barley field. I mean, that, Jason went with the crew in the winter before we shot it and figured out the plot of land, and then they planted a real field, and we just ripped through it. Um, so that's all, like, real. That's all, like, that's actually, they put a Corvette engine in the Ecto-1. So, so what you're saying, Finn, is he planted were no props and just a green screen. That would be such a bummer. Um, and I think for us, that was like hugely important too. And uh, it made us also, it made the set really fun. Mm -hmm. uh, one cast member who could. People should stop giving him, stop, you know, people really, really are talking all about this Paul Rudd guy. <laughs> and I met him, he's fine. He's also <laughs> uh, 107 years old. <laughs> he's, he's a vampire. He might be a vampire, yeah. I don't know. But yeah, you know, he's, uh, he's the best. I don't know. It, it was amazing to be on set with him. Where, what you were before. <laughs> um, yeah, it's crazy. It's really weird. And I still don't have my driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Jason. You, 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 already, you were already playing the game probably before I even came out there. Yeah, I'm like a, I, I, yeah, I like to plan ahead. I'm like a criminal mastermind. Yeah, you really are. Okay. Well, we... What I can say is like we just did literally 300 days. We just finished uh, shooting and it was day 300. What? Yeah, we shot for 300 days. Holy moly. Is it a longer? I love when the, the audience claps. Um, none of the crew was clapping. <laughs> um, They're you know, exhausted. They were like, like all right, cool, guys. The demo yeah, cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll, this. Well, <laughs> I wanted to test your uh, poker face because I know oh, we just yeah, played sure. True Confessions. So sure. I, I, I'm going to just say four. Oh, is the funniest answer. <laughs> Will we see Eleven get her powers back? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go, right there. That's it, that's, that's how you do it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for playing along with that. Yeah. Dad. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, but in a karaoke, yeah, in your by yourself. <laughs> Beer, no one, yeah, no one in the. Sing all by myself. Uh, I'm trying to think. Of it, it's like being in the room with like the apostles or something. You know, like you don't like it's. <laughs> like, I don't know if that makes sense, but like um, it, it, it's weird. It's like. Finn Wolfhard, Ghostbusters Afterlife is in theaters November 9th. This is actually two. Yeah, we're Zoom holograms. Screens, yeah. Like oh. stitched together. <laughs> Bummer. Right. The Hollywood spe Me? <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. Am I Canadian? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are now. You I'm literally surprised. wish. I do. <laughs> Obviously, there's some, some VFX in it that's pretty crazy, but uh, yeah, not that much. But um, no, but uh, we were able to lot. <laughs> no, yeah, totally. As much as I hated having that haircut, I would.